The access panel that led to Snooty, the world's oldest manatee's death, is now gone. The museum getting rid of that panel and painting over it during recent renovations. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick has more details. The access panel is what led to the chamber where Snooty ultimately drowned back in July. That panel used to be right over my left hand shoulder and now it's gone. So for many people, it was a constant reminder of the tragedy. Though the South Florida Museum had secured the panel after Snooty's death, it's not used for anything. So the staff decided to get rid of it during recent renovations. The manatee tank was closed while the museum staff resurfaced the pools, resealed the windows and just did some general maintenance that included painting over that access panel. Museum staff hadn't used the panel since Snooty's death and monitored it every time they dove. It also wasn't vital in the day to day operations of the aquarium. The renovation was part of a $250,000 grant from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. It's a memory for everybody and it's painful for everybody, not, not just people outside the museum, but for our, us who work here too. Um, we don't want to ever forget Snooty, but it's, it's a painful thing. Two new manatees, Tannenbaum and O'Neill, were just added to the aquarium this week. Baca has been here since May 2017, so now there are three manatees using the aquarium. Reporting in Bradenton, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News.